Okay, I wanted to do a quick video here to show you how to check the rectifier on your CT90 to make sure it's good. <clears throat> uh, the first thing you'll need is a digital voltmeter or multimeter uh, and, and turn the multimeter settings uh, to the diode check. And that's, you can see the symbol for the diode there. Um, but once that's set up and you have your positive lead and negative lead, um, you, you, what you're going to do is check the rectifier the diodes that exist in the rectifier to make sure that current can flow the correct way through the diode and not flow the other way through the diode. So with this rectifier that's <clears throat> off an older version of a CT90, uh, the first check is you check attach the positive lead to the green ground wire and then check first to uh, the yellow lead and you should get a reading in the range of a, about you know a third of a volt. Um, so once you get a reading that looks good, go check the pink lead. And again, you get another reading. And these readings should be consistent. Um, and what that's showing is that the actual voltage drop. Uh, through the, the diode itself. Um, <clears throat> so you can also check through, there's four diodes in this rectifier. This first check from the green lead to the yellow and pink, check the first two diodes. Um, you can check also all four of the diodes by just going from the green lead to the red lead. And that's going to be a value approximately twice of what the other reading was. Um, <clears throat> and then you'd next want to check from the yellow and pink lead to the red lead of the rectifier and verify you get a good reading there once I get a good contact. But just clipping it here. So I have good contact. You get a similar reading, and then you'd want to check the pink to the red. And again, that's looking real good. Um, so the other way you want to check is trying to see if current flows the other way through the diodes in the rectifier. And for this check, you put the positive lead on the red lead of the rectifier, and then check it against the pink and you'll see that there's no current flow there. And, and then also the yellow lead, again, no current flow. And then the green. Um, and then you'd also want to check from the pink lead to the green lead, verify that there's no current flow. And again, also from the yellow lead to the green lead. So this rectifier checks out good current flows the correct way um, uh, from the green lead to either the yellow or pink lead and also from the yellow to the red lead and pink to the red lead but it doesn't flow when you're checking um, from the red lead to the pink or red to yellow or red to green. Uh, current will flow uh, from the red uh, lead of your multimeter to the black lead. Now this is a rectifier off I think a 1975 bike that I had and this is a known bad rectifier but I'll show you what uh, why this one's bad. I'll check, I'll connect the positive lead of the multimeter to the green uh, wire coming off the rectifier and then attach it to the pink lead in the connector. And what you can see is I get a real low reading, um, which is indicating not much of a voltage drop <clears throat> and that there's something funny with the diode. Uh, if I connect it to the yellow lead on the rectifier, I get a more normal reading of um, a, a half a volt approximately voltage drop. Um, if I check from the pink lead to the positive or the red lead of the rectifier, 
I'll see that that diode is actually good. I get another uh, half a volt voltage drop. And then if I go again, check the yellow to the red lead. So there's something funny in that one diode that's in between the green lead and the pink lead. Now if I reverse those and we're check to see if the current will flow the other way. Um, so I attach the positive lead to the pink wire on the rectifier and then the black lead to the green wire on the rectifier. I'm still getting a reading. Again, that should show an open like it does when I connect it to the yellow wire. So there's definitely a bad diode in, in this rectifier and that's why that rectifier was removed. It's no good. Um, if you're trying to check a solid state rectifier, it's the same procedure. Um, the positive lead on this rectifier is actually this post. It's marked. Uh, and this is the negative uh, post or the green, if you want to call it that. And again, the check is done the same way. You check, attach the positive lead to the negative post or what would be the green post. These two posts are the AC posts, which would be uh, the same as your pink or yellow wire. And again, if I connect that up, I get about a half a volt drop um, to either one of uh, those posts. And again, so it's checking out good. And if I do it across to the red lead, it's, again, it's a value about twice as much. Um, so I can check the individual upper diode there within the rectifier. Again, it checks out. Checks out again here. And if I want to check to verify that the current won't flow in the other way, I then attach the positive lead to the positive post on the rectifier, connect my other lead to either one of the AC posts. And again, it's it's infinite, it's, it's open, verifying that there's no flow and the diodes are doing what they're supposed to do. Um, and again here I'm just checking the other individual diodes. So this rectifier uh, checks out good. And this is what I recommend and this is what I generally modify all my CT90s is to have a solid state rectifier. Um, but that's a quick overview of how you check your rectifier using a a digital multimeter and if you go to the link uh, in the description below this video that'll take you to the post on my CT90 blog where I go into more detail about how to do the test.